since that first matchup. Jan Blahovic stuffing takedowns at a more than 70% clip. Right as Anderson starts to engage, boom! That big right hand over the top hurts him bad. I mean, the fight was already over. He landed the extra shot, but he didn't. He just sat down into his punch. He had Corey pursuing him, set a trap, landed the right hand, shut the lights out. And just as he said, man, it was gonna take something big in order to make a statement, and he did. seen some nice elbows in this clinch position from Blahovic. Digging his underhook. Good job here. He's got double underhooks now. With so much time being spent. Oh! Here's left for He's Blahovic. Out. He's out. Rock out. Rock Blahovic stops Luke Rockhold in his tracks. So this is the end of the first round. This is the bell, and when Luke Rockhold gets dropped. But now let's take a look at the end. Oh my goodness. That, that is a picture perfect left hand to the chin on the break. And, you know, you could tell Luke was done from the moment he went down. Let's take a look at it again. Boom! The head snaps back. His eyes were all over the place when he got up, could not focus. Eyes rolled back behind his head. Sweet revenge for Jan Wachowicz. One more time. Bang! It's all hit for Latifi. Oh! That was a nasty body yeah, kick. Right Latifi hand. looks hurt. Right hand is right down for Latifi. Latifi looks He's really hurt. hurt. Blachowicz. This could be it. This could be the end of the fight. He's talking up that left hand. Oh. He gets the victory on his debut. Muay Thai champion. Well, he used the hands to set it up coming forward and the foot struck the liver of Elir Latifi. And then he seized his opportunity to follow up. And he really used that middle, left guys. hand to good effect, giving the referee Grant Waterman absolutely no choice but to step in between the fighters. Both guys starting to open up. Some nose damage for oh, Reyes, yeah, who covers up sure. here. I didn't notice it until now. I'm looking at it. Oh, they're slinging. Wow. There's that left kick from Reyes. Reyes really starting to open up, but Jan Bojovic continues to land. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh! oh! Big oh! left from Jan Bojovic! He's hurt! Reyes in a world of trouble! Jan oh! Bojovic has done it! He's the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion! Poland, your guy got it done! Wachowicz, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Let's take a look at this finish here from Wachowicz. He just had this air about him this whole week. Like, he knew he was going to get it done. He's coming out, he's aggressive. He busted up the nose, he busted up the ribs, he busted up the legs, and then ultimately he just sat him down. Oh, straight right. Oh, you see it snap the nose sideways of Dominic Reyes. And then here he goes, just laying on the pressure. He was countering so well as it. Oh, and look at that left hand. It's the left side for Blahovic this time. That sits him down. And then you see he's just starting to shell up. And Jan Blahovic is the new champion, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's a, a sore looking torso now. For Devin Clark, who shoots forward across the arm. Oh, look at this. Jan's locked up a really good Oh, and he gets the Look at this work. Immediately, Devin Clark comes crashing forward, and Jan Bohovic, you can see him creeping with his fingers across the shoulder of Devin Clark. The forearms under the chin and the panic on his face as Bohovic squeezes. Beautiful. It was an all or nothing submission. He saw the opportunity and took it. Very nice work. Just going back to your point about taking Mount Paul, this, 
This never occurred to me when I was when I was grappling because I always felt Mount was such a strong position. Yeah. But you, what you're actually doing is you're actually putting yourself on the the, the powerful loading point. You, you're actually sitting yourself on the hips of your opponent. So it's like sitting on a spring. It's actually much easier to ride uh, the movement of a fighter when you're inside control because you can allow them to move. And in mixed martial arts, a lot of the time we see people using uh, ground and pound to force people to turn. Now Jan Vlahovic now is looking to take Krylov's back here. Wow. Both hooks in, very nice. He's got the oh, he's got, triangle. He's got on triangle. He's got to pick whether he's going to circle around to the back or... Uh, oh, or that looks like pass. a tapping hand. Oh, yeah. wow. Submission victory wow. for Jan Vlahovic here in Moscow. That so just let's take a look at this. Squeeze. I mean, let's take a look at this. So Jan slowly works his way around. He had the head and arm choke already in. But he needed to get himself into a position where he could put some leverage onto it. Now, usually you need to see somebody bump off to one side and really drive their shoulder in. But what Jan's doing is here, he's got a figure four arm lock and he's squeezing like a rear naked choke off on the side. And given the fact that the arm's stuck in there as well, it eliminates a little bit of that extra space which was breathing room.